as an Amazon seller, you're constantly focused on one thing, keywords. You want to know what customers are searching for on Amazon because that's how you gain an edge. It's all about optimizing your Amazon business, whether it's finding the right products or boosting your sales. While Amazon doesn't give you the exact details of what customers are searching for in their organic searches, it does provide this valuable information through the advertising reports. One report in particular is the search term report. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patel, Product Evangelist at SellerApp and today I'm going to talk about how to use Amazon search term report to optimize the Amazon PPC performance. Well, here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to SellerApp so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. Let's get started. The Amazon search terms report is a detailed record of the words and phrases customers use when they are searching for or buying your product on Amazon. You can find this report in the Amazon sponsored ad section. Now this report uh, helps you find the keywords that are making you money, ones that aren't very useful and those that aren't leading to sales. You can then use this information to make your product more visible and get better results from your advertising. It's really important to know that words your customers are using so you can improve your product listings and ads. That's why sellers should regularly check the Amazon search terms report. So one cool thing about the Amazon advertising reports is that you can use the data to customize your advertising campaigns to uh, you know, match your business goals. Among these reports, the Amazon search terms report is the best one for figuring out exactly what words your customers are using to find the products. You can then use this information to make your keywords and product targeting better for your advertising goals. To locate your search terms report, follow these simple steps. If you are in your Seller Central account, go to the Reports tab and click on Advertising Reports. Once you are in the Reports section, click on the Create Report. Here, you will see various options depending on the type of campaign you are running. You can generate a search term report for Amazon advertising ad types that allow keyword targeting, such as the sponsored products, sponsored brands, and sponsored brand video ad types. If you are using the Amazon sponsored products, just select the sponsored products and then choose the report type you want, which in this case is the customer search term report. Click on the search term drop down. Set the time unit to daily and choose a standard reporting period like the last 30 days. You can also change the report name, send it to an email or schedule recurring downloads. Finally, click run report. Once the report is processed, it will uh, be downloaded in an Excel format. It's important to note that Amazon search terms report only go back to uh, 60 days. You won't be able to access the data beyond that time frame. So it's a good practice to download these reports regularly or set up recurring downloads. Once you have downloaded the report, open it in Excel. You can use the filter function to examine the report by a column and set specific criteria. The key data to focus on after sales are impressions, clicks, click-through rate, uh, the cost per click and spend. When analyzing search terms report, your main goal is to gather enough data to make informed decisions. You want to identify the relevant keywords that lead to sales and irrelevant keywords that are costing you money. The two critical factors for this analysis are conversion and relevancy. An Amazon search terms report uh, gives you a bunch of useful information. So here's what it includes, customer search term. So this is the word or phrase that customers use to find your product on Amazon. Next is campaign name. Uh, it tells you the name of the advertising campaign where the search term was used. Ad group name. 
This shows the specific uh, group in the campaign where your product's ad is placed. Targeting, it tells you what kind of targeting led to the search term. Match type, this indicates if the search term came from an exact match, a phrase match or broad match. Impressions, it's the number of times your ad is shown to Amazon shoppers in search results or on uh, product pages. Clicks, this shows how many times shoppers clicked on your ad. Click through rate, uh, it is the percentage of clicks compared to the impressions and helps you see how effective your ad is at getting people's attention. Cost per click, it tells you how much it costs when someone clicks on your ad. Conversion rate, uh, it is the ratio of orders to clicks showing how well your ad turns clicks into actual sales. Spend, it reveals how much money you have spent on that particular search term in the campaign. Uh, next to 7 days to uh, 14 days sales. This shows the total sales generated in a 7 to uh, 14 day period depending on your account type. Next is uh, this, it displays the number of orders displayed within a 7 to 14 day period. Next is 7 days to 14 days units. This tells you the number of units sold in a 7 to 14 day period. Next is 7 days to 14 days advertised SKU sales. Uh, it shows you the sales generated within the 7 to, 7 to 14 day period for products specifically advertised with the search term. Now this column displays the sales generated in the 7 to 14 day period for products that weren't directly advertised with the search term but might have been brought uh, by customers who initially clicked on the ad. Sellers have this common question, why generate a report for the last seven days or more? Well, the reason behind this is how Amazon tracks our conversions. When a customer clicks on an ad and makes a purchase, Amazon recognizes it as a conversion. However, what if a customer clicks the ad, checks out the product, leaves, and then makes a purchase a few days later? Uh, if this purchase occurs uh, within seven days clicking on the ad, Amazon credits it to the keyword that triggered the initial click and this data appears in your report. So to have the most accurate and comprehensive information, it's a good idea to use the data from at least seven days or even better, a whole month. Keep in mind that Amazon provides data for the last 60 days in these reports to ensure you have the latest keyword information. It's essential to regularly generate and save such reports. Using the Amazon search terms report effectively can uh, you know, significantly improve your advertising campaigns. So here are two important steps you can take after examining your search terms report. First is find high performing search terms and add them to the existing campaigns. Well, the goal here is to discover the search terms that are bringing in profits, especially from the discovery campaigns like auto and broad match targeting. After identifying these terms, you can include them in your performance campaigns using the phrase or exact match type targeting. To quickly spot uh, such valuable search terms, follow these simple steps. Apply a filter for order greater than one, considering that two orders can be a good benchmark for identifying uh, promising terms. Next, uh, filter the list by ACOS uh, less than your target ACOS for your account. This will give you a list of order generating search terms with a favorable ACOS. If you're not already uh, you know, targeting them, consider adding them to your campaigns. To make this process easier, you can use the Seller Apps Advertising Insights feature. Firstly, enter your target ACOS in the advertising section. Then go to the Insights. Positive uh, search terms can be a game changer for your advertising campaigns. So these are the keywords that perform exceptionally well, delivering better results than your target ACoS. Keeping an eye on these terms can boost your product's visibility, lower advertising costs and improve the sales performance. As a seller, your ultimate goal is to enhance your product's organic ranking and reduce the advertising expenses. While it won't happen overnight, you will need to invest in paid advertising initially. Over time, monitor the performance of these positive search terms in the product intelligence section to see 
if your product's organic ranking is improving for these terms or not. So here's how to track all the keywords at once. Select the select all checkbox and click on the track keywords button. A pop-up window will appear here. You can choose the product to track the keywords for. Click on the submit to track the products. Alternatively, you can track the individual keywords one by one as well. Second is recognize underperforming search terms and exclude them as negative keywords. Now, besides identifying the uh, profitable search terms, you can also use the search terms report to spot the search terms that aren't performing well. Adding these as uh, negative keywords in your campaign can help you avoid waste wasteful or you know unprofitable spending. To find these underperforming search terms, apply a filter for order is equal to zero or an ACoS higher than your target ACoS. If you discover the that these terms have uh, you know received enough clicks and aren't delivering the expected results simply designate them as negative keywords or products in your campaign you can easily do this using the seller app dashboard in the advertising insights section there's a feature called negative search terms so these search terms have a higher a cost than your target a cost which means uh, they are likely irrelevant or not leading to conversions for your product causing your ad budget to be wasted to optimize your campaign and reduce unnecessary ad expenses select these search terms and click mark negative in your campaigns this action will uh, turn them into negative exact keyword match types for your campaigns however if your product is in the early stages and your main goal is to maximize the visibility you can click on the ignore for seven days button this will prevent the search term from appearing in your negative search terms dashboard for the next seven days additionally you can individually set each search term as negative in the dashboard by clicking the mark negative button at the end of the search term row making them exact negative keywords for your campaigns. So the Amazon search terms report gives you precise information about what customers are searching for. Let's explore four key ways to use these search terms to achieve your goals. Firstly, optimizing uh, the existing PPC campaigns. As mentioned earlier, having an Amazon search terms report uh, covering at least seven days is valuable. Utilize this data to boost the effectiveness of your advertising campaigns. Within the report, you will discover which keywords lead to uh, conversions and sales. Incorporate these successful keywords into your existing PPC campaigns and monitor how they perform after the changes. If a keyword from the report is performing exceptionally well, consider placing it in a dedicated exact match campaign and evaluate its results about a month later. You should see the positive outcomes. By using the data from the report, you can expand your list of negative keywords and fine tune your campaigns for a better targeting. Add search terms with low conversion rates, minimal clicks or those that are irrelevant and don't result in sales to your negative keywords list. This ensures that your ad won't appear if a shopper enters these keywords in the Amazon search bar, preventing you from wasting money. Create manual PPC campaigns. So to get started with the P manual PPC campaigns, it's a good idea to have a report that covers uh, at least a month. Uh, sellers can gather search term data through the automatic campaigns. This data can then be used based on your brand specific needs and the advantages. Identify the keywords that are leading to sales by looking at the total sales metrics. This, uh, with these critical search terms or uh, keywords, you can create your own manual PPC campaigns. So this gives you the flexibility to fine tune your campaigns by selecting the type of targeting, keyword match type and other parameters. We have more detailed information on setting up such ad campaigns in your previous videos. Next is optimize our product listing. 
Amazon checks the relevance of your product listing by matching specific search terms with the keywords you have included in the titles, descriptions, bullet points and more. Uh, therefore, it's crucial to use high performing keywords effectively when creating an Amazon listing. If your listing isn't generating enough sales, you have the option to improve it by adding the relevant keywords to the uh, necessary parts of the listing. To make your listing more appealing, pay attention to every aspect of it. With the help of the Amazon search terms report, you can update the search terms you have used in your listing when you have enough data to make the informed changes. So this allows you to make adjustments when needed and uh, you know gather relevant data to test your optimization strategy. Next is optimize backend section. To boost traffic and make your product more relevant, you can optimize the backend search terms uh, using the Amazon search terms report. So in this section, uh, you can include extra keywords that may not be suitable for your titles, description or bullet points. It's a great opportunity to enhance your listings relevance by incorporating keywords that the Amazon search term report highlights uh, as converters. Here's how to do it. Firstly, examine the report and pick out the keywords that uh, perform well. Add these selected keywords to the backend section. Observe whether uh, your organic sales increase. In my experience, this improves your listings visibility because Amazon indexes keywords from this section as well, making them useful for driving sales. So in conclusion, the Amazon search terms report is a valuable tool that helps advertisers understand what customers are searching for. It allows you to uh, you know, identify the profitable keywords, improve your ad campaigns and enhance your product listings. So by distinguishing between the high performing and underperforming search terms, you can refine your advertising strategies, uh, increase visibility and boost sales on the Amazon platform. If you want to do Amazon campaign optimization for long-term ROI, do reach out to us on support at sellrap.com and we can help you drive your business to the next level. And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Salarat. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. And as always, happy selling.